Barry is small town Canada. You know, if Norman Rockwell was alive, he'd be here painting it. It's a place that uh, people want to raise their children. We have a uh, big military presence from Canadian Forces Base Borden. And obviously all those soldiers that have come and trained here have played a part in, in the growth of our community. My father was a mosquito pilot in the Second World War. And as a young boy, I remember always going to Remembrance Day with my father. He lost a number of really close friends in the war. And he always instilled in me the importance of remembering the sacrifice. Having PTSD, it's sensory overload. You feel like you're under threat and you're always looking around. You retreat from society. And it took about four years to finally realize that all the depression, my anxiety, everything I was feeling was symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. One of the most difficult things about coming forward for me initially to the military was I thought I was gonna seem like I was weak. Being in the infantry, we train that we can overcome anything and that we're strong. So it took a long time to get there. Finally, a suicide attempt. And that's when I realized uh, that day when I tried to jump in front of that subway after work that I needed help. go right up here uh, and head down to the waterfront. So what do you think of the test drive? I'm impressed. But how would you like to do something really special for our community? The Wounded Warrior Program is in Barrie today. Maybe there's an opportunity for us to spend some time with a couple of veterans. So that's part of my test drive. That's, that's part of the test drive. Oh, that'd be fun. I'd, I'd love, love that. So with Wounded Warriors Canada, we take a group of vets, you put them on a boat, and it creates almost a support network overnight. When you're in the military, you have your battle buddy. They're attached to you at the hip. Good fishing, boys. Thank you. When you put them out there and you're in the boat, they kind of reconnect and you find a, a new battle buddy for at least a little while. It's the first step on the way to healing. I, I got onto that boat just thinking like, oh, I'll high five some guys and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about some more stories. And, and then you realize it took a one minute before things started to spill and get serious and get real. You ask a veteran, you doing okay? Yeah, he'll be like, yeah, I'm doing okay. Yeah. But you actually want to know if he's doing okay? Ask the spouse. I'll tell you, I'm perfectly fine, I'm good. But that night I'll go to bed and I'll be up all night tossing, turning, crying, screaming in my sleep. And if yeah. it wasn't for her telling me in the morning, I'd have no idea. We had the fishing poles in the water for 10 minutes and everyone just wanted to talk instead. The guys need to talk to the guys. They need to be able to say, like, I'm not okay, I need some help. And uh, that there wasn't a support program before Wounded Warriors just seems, just seems absurd. It doesn't make sense. You know, test driving a car, that's, that's a luxury. Getting out on a boat with some veterans, it's meaningful. It's just, it's made my day. It's made my day much bigger than it was.